Okay, yeah, too. So I have also thought of another type of pentagon. Okay, let's see if I'm correct. So I'm going to draw it. I'm going to have side here. I'm going to have another side here. I'm going to have a side here. And I'm going to have a side here. Okay, there we go. There is my pentagon with five sides and five vertices. Am I right, year two? Could you pause the video and have a think for me? Okay, well, was I right? Shall we check? So I need five sides and five vertices. So here is my first side, my second side, my third, my fourth. Oh dear, I've run out of sides, haven't I? And that's because I've only drawn four sides and not five sides that I need in a pentagon. Well, let's check how many vertices I have. Okay, let's check if I've got the right amount of vertices. So I've got one vertex, two vertices, three vertices, four vertices. Oh no, I'm out of vertices too. So I have drawn a four-sided shape with four vertices. Now, what type of shape is this year too with four sides and four vertices? Yes, you're right. It's called a quadrilateral, isn't it? Remember, our rectangle and our square are types of quadrilateral. So let's see if I can correct this. Well, first of all, I'd like you to pause the video and see if you can correct this for me. OK, so let's have a look how you got on. So again, I'm going to start with the straight line. So I'm going to do that the same. I'm going to go. Upwards. OK, now I'm going to draw this side the same as well. So I'm going to go down. Can you see how I'm using my ruler to make sure I'm drawing straight lines? OK, so now I've got two sides and one vertex. OK, now I'm going to draw a little line there for my next side. And then I'm going to go, right, how many sides have I got? Well, I've got two vertices here and here, and I've got three sides. Now I need two more sides for a pentagon because I need five sides for a pentagon, don't I? OK, so I can't just go straight to that side, can I? I need to do two more sides. So I'm going to go over here. So that makes my fourth side and my third vertex. And then I'm going to go from here to here. So now I have one, two, three, four, five sides. And I have one, two, three, four, five vertices. So instead of just going straight across like I did here, I went down to create my fourth side and up to create my fifth side. So there we go. We have corrected my pentagon. I'm very glad that you're all here to help me. OK, so now I would like you to pause the video and have a go at your first worksheet, which is called Year 2 Maths, 25th of February, Resource 1. And I would like you to do up to question 7. OK, Year 2, well, I am going to share my screen with you again for the next part of the lesson. it will let me ah yes here we go okay so we're going to do some problem solving now now we have got two children here i wonder what they have to say it looks like they've drawn a shape and they're missing some of the shape because it's covered with the um the other shape so the first girl is saying do you think it was a triangle a square a rectangle or a pentagon okay now, the second boy is thinking, hmm, is it a square, triangle, rectangle or pentagon? Now, let's have a think. How many sides does a triangle have? Well, a triangle has three sides, doesn't it? Now, let me think, can it be a triangle here? Well, I can already see one, two, three sides and the sides aren't joined up. The, the first and the third, are they? So therefore, is it going to be a triangle? 
Well, no, it's going to have to have another side, isn't it? That's the side that's hidden probably. So no, it can't be a triangle because a triangle has three sides and we've already got three sides. And there must be some other sides that are hidden because those two sides aren't joining together. So therefore it can't be a triangle. So he's going to cross out triangle. Now, what about a square? Well, this shape so far that we can see has three sides. How many sides does a square have? Yes, you're right. It has four sides and four vertices. Well, we can see three sides and there's a couple of sides maybe that are covered by the other shape. Well, it could be one other side, couldn't it? Which gives us four sides. But does a square look like that if we draw a line down joining the two sides that are covered? Well, no, it won't be, will it? Because a square needs to have sides like this. So if I draw one on my piece of paper and you'll be able to see. Give me one moment. A square needs to have sides like this, doesn't it? Can you see it's got the vertices? But then each of the vertices, can you see it's a right angle case, okay, a 90 degree angle, which you'll learn about later on in the school. And you can see here that that definitely isn't like this, is it? Because it's going up here. So therefore, it can't be a square because the sides of a square need to be all the same length, okay? And that's definitely not the same length if we have all of those sides together with four sides. So we can cross out square. Now, I would like you to pause the video and have a think. Could it be a rectangle or could it be a pentagon? Pause the video now and have a think. Okay, year two. So let's have a think about a rectangle. How many sides does a rectangle have? Well, a rectangle like a square has four sides, doesn't it? Now, again, let me draw a rectangle for you. So a rectangle has four sides and two of the sides are the same length. And then the other two sides are the same length. So the sides facing each other are always the same length. OK, now here is our rectangle. OK, can you see it there? It has four sides, but these two sides are the same length, and then these two sides are the same length as well. So if we look at this shape here and we draw another side to make it four sides, so a side going down, is that going to be a rectangle? Well, no, it's not because the two sides opposite each other are not going to be the same length are they because the side at the bottom is not the same as the side at the top it's not the same length and the side over here is not going to be the same as the side that we draw to complete our four-sided shape is it so therefore it also can't be a rectangle and like a square you need to have those 90 degree angles you need to have those right angles which you'll learn about later on in school now can it be a pentagon maybe well, how many sides does a pentagon have? Yes, a pentagon has five sides, doesn't it? And we can see three sides here. So I wonder if it can be a pentagon. Well, shall we find out what shape it is? Well, there we go. Can you see? We have revealed the shape. And could it have been a pentagon? Well, yes, it could have been because there are two sides that were hiding behind the other shape. So we have one, two, three, four, five sides here. And a pentagon has five sides, doesn't it? And it has five vertices. So well done if you worked out that it was a pentagon. OK, let's have a look at our next question. So here we've got a question and it said, Max says if he adds two more dots, can he draw a pentagon? OK, so here we have three dots, OK? And I'm going to add two more dots to his shape, OK? So now he's got these um, dots that he can draw a shape with, OK? Now, I would like you to pause the video and you have this question on your resource. 
Year two maths, 25th of February, resource two. I would like you to join the dots together. So add the other two dots, then join the dots together. Has he drawn a pentagon? OK, year two, well, you, did you join the dots together? Well, let's have a look. Let me join the dots together as well. So there we go. I have drawn the dot. Um, I've drawn the sides and joined all of the dots together. Now, have we made a pentagon? Was Max correct? Well, let's count how many sides we have. We have one, two, three, four, five sides. So yes, it is a pentagon because a pentagon has five sides. Now let's check how many vertices it has. So we've got our first one, two, three, four, five. So every time there is a circle that we've joined together, we have created a vertex. So therefore, yes, Max is correct. If he had two more dots, it will create a shape with five vertices and five sides. So therefore, it's a pentagon, because remember, we have five fingers, we can hold a pen with our hand, and therefore, a pentagon has five sides. Well, fantastic, well done if you were able to work that out. So now, I would like you to, first of all, complete questions seven to nine on resource one, and then I would like you to have a look, have a go even, at the question on resource two, okay, which is very similar to the one that we've just done. Remember, you can either choose the blue question or the orange question. Remember, the blue question is slightly easier and the orange question is slightly more challenging. And then if you want to, you can have a go at the extension activity, which you'll also find on resource two. Well, okay, year two, have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for being so brilliant in our maths lesson and I'll see you in our next maths lesson.